Hello. Comics Curated is a YouTube channel for adult comic book fans. If you're not an adult, please find one and watch this video with them. Comics Curated is not a children's channel. Hey guys, welcome back to Comics Curated. Uh, Going to take a look today at uh, one of my favorite comics. I have a, a slightly different setup here, so I'm just kind of testing it out. And, and I thought I'd take a look at one of my favorite comics from one of my favorite comics creators. This is The Atomics Number 1 from uh, Mike Allred, AAA Pop Comics. This is from the late 90s, early 2000s, January 2000. There you go, I remembered correctly. Uh, words and Pictures, Mike Allred, Color Seps, uh, Laura Allred. And it's this is an interesting time for Mike Allred because he's doing Madman and has been doing Madman for Dark Horse for several years at this point and suddenly says, hey, I, I'm just going to self-publish. I'm going to self-publish. I'm going to continue to do Madman books for Dark Horse, but I'm also going to self-publish this other superhero book with characters that I've started in Madman, and I'm just going to self-publish it. Um and I, I really loved it. I've always been a big fan of Mike Allred's. Uh, this is uh, on newsprint. The color looks fantastic here on the, on the newsprint, as you can see. And this is uh, introducing a few characters. So these characters here that you see become uh, the Atomics are the mutant street beatniks who have been exposed to an alien spore. They have these sort of pustules on their skin. They're, they're outcasts. Uh, and then you see them become superheroes over the course of the story. Mr. Gum, uh, the stretchy guy, he had become a superhero in an earlier issue of Madman. The idea is that these uh, spores are just a uh, larval stage, and then you evolve into your final form. Uh, this is the whole breakdown right here, and your final form gives you superpowers. So... Uh, just fantastic. So they're uh, they're encountering this guy. They don't know who it is. They're fighting with him. The art is fantastic. I like this style of Mike Allred um, drawing, and he's gone through a couple different styles, and this is what I like the most. Just real clear, uh, real clear lines. The colors are very. Uh, flat on the characters you see some shading cut in uh, with with colors in the background but the colors themselves there's not a lot of shading there's not a lot of uh, you see just a little bit and where you see it it really does stand out and looks great the action of course is great Mike Allred is I think just a, a great a great artist when it comes to this kind of stuff character designs are fantastic uh, Here's the origin, as you can see, of the Mutant Street Beatniks. And we get into the origin of the Atomics. They all change. And uh, let's see, next page. Yep, now their skin's all, all clear. They have superpowers. And so they go through, there's this creature that they think is uh, a monster, but it's actually from the future or from another dimension, I think. From another dimension, that's what it is. It's been a while since I've read this. So it's another dimension. So you have uh, this guy who comes from another dimension. He escapes to Earth. This guy has uh, come to uh, track him down, take him back so he can marry uh, uh, and his like arranged bride. And so then... One of the characters suggests the Atomics with an X. Mr. Gum points out, nah, people are going to pronounce it Auto Mix, which I think is great. Yeah, stupid people. Uh, the faces, the, the, the acting on the page, just so fantastic. The character designs, the color choice. Laura Allred's one of the best colorists. Um, and when you have a duo who can deliver something like this, uh, just all at one time, living under the same roof, man, it, it just looks fantastic. So there you go. That's uh, that's the first issue. It's very straightforward. Um, origin story uh, doesn't, you know, kind of starts out non-linearly, -lin not in a line, <laughs> jumps around through time. Uh, it's a fun book. And here's Mike uh, already talking about what he was planning on doing uh, with, the Atomics. If I had one knock against Mike Allred, 
uh, and this is a very minor, this is a very minor thing, but in early interviews, he would always talk about wanting to be basically the new Stan Lee, Jack Kirby. You know, Lee and Kirby did 101 issues of Fantastic Four. He was going to do 102 issues of Madman. And that never happened. It would kind of come in fits and starts. And I don't know if that was because the finance, the financials on the book just weren't there. And he had to kind of, you know, make some bones somewhere else and then come back to it. Or if he was just losing interest. Uh, you know, there's there's just so many things, I guess, that it could be. Because what happens here, you know, he says, well, we're, I'm going to do this for for the foreseeable future. And, you know, a year and a half in. He's at Marvel with uh, Peter Milligan doing, taking over X Force, uh, which is one of the best superhero runs I'd say of the last twenty years. That whole X Force run and X Statics run is phenomenal. And that first issue, I'll pull out that that issue. I think it's one sixteen, which is just it's got one of the biggest surprise page turn reveals I've ever seen in comics. Uh, so. I mean, it's great, but it means that he, you know, Mike Allred ends up, you know, leaving these characters for, uh, you know, a, a pretty big chunk of time. And, and then his art, you know, it kind of changed. Everyone's art evolves over time, and, and that's great. I'm happy for them artistically, but they're definitely guys who I see their art, uh, you know, guys and gals, who I see their art change over time, and I'm happy that they're still experimenting. But the changes mean I like the art less and less. Uh, but uh, I still love Mike Allred's work when I see it. I still try and pick it up when I see it. Uh, and I've been filling out. I picked up this whole run of the Atomics uh, a while back. Uh, got the Atomics and I think there were a couple one-shots as well that were associated that came out around that time. Uh, if you can find them. Uh, I don't think you're going to find these in a quarter bin because the print runs were not gigantic. Uh, and I think they have been, you know, pretty much snapped up. But I think I got the whole run uh, on eBay for 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks a while back. Uh, so they're out there and you can kind of piece together that uh, that collection. I highly recommend if you like Mike Allred, uh, if you like Mike Allred, you probably already have these. Uh, but if you're looking for kind of fun throwback superhero adventures with a modern twist, that's what you're going to get from Mike Allred in spades, and I highly recommend this series. So like, follow, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You'll get uh, a little thing that pops up and says when a new video is dropped. I'm trying to do them daily. Yeah, we're working on it. We're just going to see what happens. But, you know, if you don't feel like doing any of that, it's cool. Just come back, and we'll talk about comics again. Thanks for watching. Bye.